introduce ourselves to start with. So we have got Tracy. Tracy, you're pretty famous. Do you need to introduce yourself? <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> you make me sound like I've been around a long time. <laughs> so I, um, I'm Tracy from Essential Detail, and um, I'm going to be talking to you about one of our properties today in Jamaica. Super amazing. And your price today, Tracy? Um, 50 US dollars or 50 pounds um, in UK pounds, not literally, but in uh, Amazon voucher or however they want it. Super amazing. Thank you very much. So listen carefully to Tracy. Um, she has got a question at the end, the same as Carolyn and Irina, and uh, we will quiz you and you will get additional points. I'm also going to welcome into the room Carolyn. Carolyn, hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Greetings from a very chilly London, but I hope to bring a little bit of warmth of the Caribbean with Anguilla and the three fabulous villas of Little Harbour Estates. And the prize, same as Tracy, £50 or equivalent in US dollars, however anybody would like to receive that. The lucky winner. Uh, thank you very much, Carolyn. So any questions you've got for Carolyn, you can pop them into the Q&A once we have started. Last but not least, we've got Arena. Arena, welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure being here. Um, I'm uh, representing Banyan Tree Dubai, so we'll talk about our new property here. Super, thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to let you take us off to Dubai. Um, you're leading the way on our luxury webinar today. So, Arena, over to you. Perfect, thank you. Let me share my screen. So, um, we are going to talk about uh, Banyan Tree Dubai. This is a brand new property. Uh, we just rebranded from Caesar Palace. In case um, you, I'm sure you've heard about the Caesar Palace Dubai before. Um, so we will talk about the news here. We are still located on uh, Blue Water Island. Uh, this is the beautiful island uh, located in front of the JBR area, all uh, walkable. Um, everything is really close to the resort. Uh, all the restaurants, bars, uh, coffee shop, everything what you needed for your holidays is uh, there. We have a kids uh, center next to the hotel. There is a Madame Tussaud Museum. There is, um, um, I don't know, pharmacy, supermarket, everything what Plus, um, you can easily walk to the JBR. It is connected with a nice bridge, so you can get the beautiful pictures uh, while you're walking um, do, um, down this bridge uh, to JBR location. And from JBR, you can um, also access the Vetra station, the tram, or you can get out from the island on the taxi. There is um, a nice uh, entrance and exit with uh, no traffic over there. So um, the logistically wise, it's um, very well located. So um, if you remember, the Caesar Palace uh, consists of uh, two buildings. Um, now we split it into two different hotels, and the one on the on the right here is the Banyan Tree Hotel. So now um, the, it's completely two separate areas. So here uh, we will have a renovation, and after a few months it will be reopened as a new brand of Accor. But this part is fully operating. There is no construction over here. Everything is ready to um, uh, welcome your clients. Um, the Banyan Tree uh, Resort uh, consists of two buildings. Uh, here we have a Banyan Tree Residence. It's um, the perfect place for those who would like to stay here for the longer period, from 30 nights and more. It's a proper serviced apartments with a fully equip equipped kitchen. Uh, but let's talk about the resort over here. Uh, it consists uh, from 178 rooms and our newly opened villa that has four bedrooms. So uh, as you know, Banyan Tree, you might be familiar um, with this brand. Uh, if you book the hotels in Thailand, uh, they're located on Bali and Seychelles. Banyan Tree is a, a pioneer in, in the natural luxurious hospitality. It's the brand that is um, very uh, concerned about the environmental protection, about the sustainability. And that's what we are trying to implement here in our property. 
we have a very own body tree. It came directly from India, you know, uh, that um, uh, in India, they have uh, the biggest uh, banyan tree in the world. And I really hope that this tree will grow uh, as big as Indian. And banyan tree is the symbol of um, long life, the symbol of reconnection with yourself, the meditation. And um, this is um, the tree that gives uh, the shelter to all the uh, animals around. Um, and we actually think that and hope that our um, our hotel can be a home to all the travelers around the world. So now this is how it looks like, but it was decorated for Christmas. It was our kind of Christmas tree. So now let's talk about the resort. Um, the benefit of the resort is that you don't have any construction around. You don't have any other buildings around. So you really have the feeling of the resort that you are uh, on the island itself. It's really peaceful. The territory is really green. Uh, and as you can see, it's uninterrupted sea view. And the, the sea is really natural. And it's very rare that uh, that kind of sea in Dubai, that you have a natural waves uh that gives you the sense of reconnection with this nature so as i mentioned before we have we are very um now uh, became very small hotel it's only 178 rooms it's really boutique what changed from the previous hotel is um the whole uh experience from the moment of arrival until the moment of departure uh we um we tried uh, that the guests since the moment they arrived, they felt this um, um, the sense of uh, reconnections with themselves uh, that um, they get a peace for mind and body and they can literally rest and uh, disconnect from all the problems that they have in their, their everyday life. So uh, let me guide you through our room types because they changed a lot. Um, so as you can see, we have uh, three room types of the, of the same size. It's 54 square meters. Bliss guest room, Bliss resort view guest room, and Serenity ocean view guest room. This is the standard room type. The difference between them is only in the view. So Bliss guest room has the view of the boulevard of the island. Bliss resort view is overlooking the facilities of the resort. And Serenity ocean view it has the full um, sea view. So it's very easy um, to navigate here and to understand which room type your guest will have. And then the next one is already the Harmony Ocean View Master Suite. And all the suites that uh, we have, um, they have a direct uh, sea view. So look at our basic category. This is the Bliss uh, Resort View room in front of, the, uh, in front of us. Um, so Bliss Guest Room and Serenity Ocean View Room, they look exactly the same. The difference is just in the view. So um, we didn't change much in terms of the design of the rooms. They really fit the style of the banyan tree and this concept. It has a lot of wood uh, and natural materials, natural colors. The rooms have a minimalistic design already and all the rooms are with the balcony that help you to reconnect with the sea and with the nature even more. We changed um, the amenities in the room. It's Banyan Tree branded amenities. Uh, we changed all the linens, the bathrobes, the slippers. We have um, zero plastic policy. So uh, the water bottles are from the glass and all the amenities are also used in um, not in the plastic uh, bottles. Um, in terms of the maximum occupancy in this room, um, please um, remember that here we don't place an extra bed. So maximum we can accommodate two adults, one child up to six years old that can be accommodated on the sofa over here next to the window, and we can place a baby cot for an infant. So it's two adults, one child below six years old, and one child up to three years old. All the rooms equipped with a beautiful bathroom, uh, that has a floor to ceiling windows and um, um, just imagine yourself there uh, sitting in the bathtub looking at the sunset having a glass of champagne um, it really gives you um, the, the feeling that you are having the proper holidays so if you're looking at the suites uh, we have a few types of suites. The standard suite is the Harmony Ocean View Master Suite the size of 100 square meters 
um, there in the suite, we already can accommodate a bigger family. We can place an extra bed for the child up to 12 years old. Another child can sleep on the sofa or on the uh, in the baby cot if they fit in the baby cot. And the biggest room in the um, in the hotel are presidential suite two and three bedroom and the royal suite. What you see on the picture is the presidential suite, uh, one of the presidential suites. And the presidential suites, honestly, they have the most beautiful view of the sea. So this is uh, the closest view of the sea that you can get of the hotel. And um, every room has the biggest uh, terrace with the private jacuzzi. And for the guests of the suites, uh, we are given the complimentary breakfast in the room. So they have an option either to go to the restaurant or to have the breakfast in the comfort of their room. Plus the guests who are booking any suite they get a complimentary transfer from the airport of Dubai if they book a suite from five nights and more. Um, we do the transfer only to Dubai airport, first, second, or the third terminal, and it's one-way transfer. Plus, the guests of the suites are getting another benefit as a um, complimentary sunset drinks. The guests of the presidential suites are even getting it in the comfort of their room on the terrace. Um, this is the biggest room of the hotel. This is the Royal Suite. Uh, the size of this room is uh, 315 square meters, a three bedroom, and it gets exactly the same benefits as the, uh, uh, for the presidential suite. Um, let's talk about uh, buying a tree villa. This is our brand new uh, product. We just launched it. Uh, the villa has a separate entrance. It has uh, four bedrooms plus the possibility to connect it with the building with another six rooms. So in total, you can get up to 10 uh, rooms in, in, the, in this villa. Uh, it has a beautiful uh, lounge area, uh, uh, four bedrooms, a cinema room, uh, and separately you have two rooms for staff either for driver or for nanny, plus uh, it's um, absolutely private beach, private pool where you can have, I don't know, floating breakfast, like you can do it in Maldives, for example, a private gym area where you can do your yoga sessions um, and the barbecue area or the uh, a place for the fire where you can do the, um, I don't know, marshmallows and the fire. Uh, so, this is very unique product. Uh, this is one of the best uh, villas, I would say, in Dubai. In terms of the location, also in the beach, um, you hardly can find this kind of beach anywhere else. Um, in, let's, let me talk about some dining experience. Um, so the hotel is um, offering two meal plans. This is either breakfast only or the half board. Half board includes breakfast and the dinner. Uh, so one of our uh, main um, restaurants is um, Alize. This is our new um, concept. This is the French cuisine. Uh, we are offering um, breakfast here and the dinner. Breakfast is served half buffet. So for the cold uh, starters, uh, for the salads, it's a buffet. And uh, the main courses, uh, all the hot dishes for the breakfast are served a la carte. And for dinner, this is completely a la carte experience. And the guests who are having the half board with us, they get a three course meal in uh, this restaurant. Plus one of our top uh, restaurant is Zeman Dak by Alvin Lung. Alvin Lung is a three-star Michelin chef. And this is his uh, first uh, restaurant in the Middle East area. And in this uh, restaurant, we're also offering a um, half board option for the guests uh, where they can get um, three course meal. We also recently launched our um, Japanese tea lounge. This is Tocha. Um, this is uh, also a new concept for the hotel um, where you can try the um, uh, nice uh, um, Japanese teas, uh, a lot, I don't know, a lot of Japanese desserts, and um, the signature will be our Japanese afternoon tea, uh, which we're still working on. It will be launched very soon. So Takahisa is our Japanese restaurant. It's outsourced, so uh, it's not included in any of the meal plans. Um, but if your uh, clients are really a fan of the authentic Japanese cuisine, uh, they would really love the concept of this uh, restaurant. 
and still Havana Social Club it stays with us. This is Latin inspired bar uh, with the different entertainments such as ladies nights, salsa nights and the you know, we still give the lessons of salsa for all our guests on certain days, and this is complete, uh, ex completely free experience uh, for all our in-house guests. Um, the, mm, the, the benefit of the resort is our open beach, 500 meters long, and we have three swimming pools uh, in this building. Uh, so that's what you see at the picture. These are the main pools. And of course, uh, the next picture is uh, how you see the beach. So it depends on the weather, the waves can be bigger or smaller, but anyway, you will still enjoy this time at the, um, but at our beach. We are still working on the concept of the restaurant at the beach, Alizela Plage will be opening soon. And of course, Banyan Tree hotels are really famous uh, with their spa concept. And at the moment, all our therapists are going through the trainings in Banyan Tree Spa Academy. Um, they have to get like 200 hours and they are all sent to Thailand. So the guests will get exactly the same experience as in uh, Banyan Tree in Thailand or Banyan Tree in Mexico or Banyan Tree Dubai. Uh, we changed the uh, Banyan Tree um, spa menu completely. And we are working on the uh, different experiences uh, based on the client's needs. So we can get the romantic experience, the mother-daughter experience. Um, still, um, the work is in progress. We will get even more and better. There will be a yoga classes. Uh, there will be different uh, rituals. And in the next stage, we are planning even extension of the spa. But still, it's uh, in the process. For our little guests, we're having um, the kids club. It's also a uh, complimentary for all the kids from uh, three to 12 years old. And we just launched it in the Banyan Tree Hotel. So now uh, for the current offers that we have at the moment, uh, we are given the complimentary meal plan upgrade. If you book a breakfast trade, you get a complimentary uh, dinner. Or the guests have an option if they don't want to go for dinner, they can get a F and B credit and spend it throughout the day in case they are spending the whole day by the beach or the pool. They can order food and drinks over there. It's going to be 175 dirham per person, but they need to choose either the credit or they go for dinner. They can't have both. Uh, for those who book well in advance, we are having the early bird discount. It depends on the period, it can be up to 60%. And for the longer stays from four nights and more, you're getting another 5% on top. For the guests who are staying in the suite, I'll just repeat the, uh, I will not repeat the benefits I was talking about it before, uh, but um, just remember that uh, for all the suites, uh, you're getting some really nice amenities. You're getting the uh, priority early check-in or maybe later check-out. And so for presidential suites, you're getting even uh, butler uh, service resort host. Uh, we are quite flexible in terms of the um, uh, cancellation policies and release period. It was also revised, so check with your partners. And um, for um, uh, for this program, we are um, getting now extra points. Uh, so for every booking, you will get uh, two points for every three nights instead of one point that is used to be before, but you need to book before 20th of February. So I'll also share my contact details in case you have some questions for me later on. Uh, you can WhatsApp me or send me an email or just come and see the hotel because it's better to see it one time rather than to listen hundreds of times. Thanks so much for your attention. Thank you very much, Irina. And don't forget, you can log your, your bookings. There are double bonuses at the moment. So for every booking you make, you get two points and you can log them on to banyantreerewards.co.uk. Um, so thank you, Irina. It's a great way of going to see the hotels and spending time. So thank you for the great presentation. We're now going to leave Dubai. We're zooming across to Anguilla and we've got Carolyn. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, right. Good afternoon, good evening and good morning, wherever anybody is. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the three fabulous properties that make up Little Harbour Estates on the Caribbean island of Anguilla. Um, we like to say they're exquisite villas, extraordinary locations with exceptional services. 
Um, to give you a little bit of an insight for those that don't know about Little Harbour Estates, they are a family run business. It's a British family. They've been involved with Anguilla for over 33 years, um, originally came as guests to the island and then decided to build their own um, property to enjoy, which then um, escalated into three properties now across the island on two separate locations. Each of the properties is very different. Um, again, designed by the family. They're very involved in, in what they do with the properties. And as I said, there's three in total on two different locations. I'm gonna go through them individually and talk a little bit about them, but I'll just give you a little bit of an update on um, Little Harbour and what we've been doing over the last few months. Um, we've come in with a whole new brand for the properties we decided that it was time they need a little bit of freshen up we've also updated images and reels in fact we've got a second photo shoot taking place in two weeks time on the on the island and again that will take in all the new um upgrades that we have done to the suites across all three properties suites living space we've added new furnishings um, and lots of new touches to the properties really giving them a lovely fresh look our social media is about to relaunch at the end of the month as well um, an enhanced team hence I've come on board some of you already know I used to represent Anguilla Tourist Board for many years in the UK so not only do I have um, an understanding of the properties but a very very good understanding of the destination so it really does help when trying to sell and promote the three villas um, we've also um, brought in a guest experience manager and she oversees all the guest requirements and we have totally revamped our culinary team and we have head chef sweets Connor come in um, and he's brought his own team with him as well he has great experience working in Thailand and um, other destinations around the globe so really fantastic menus catering to everybody's needs um, you know, very talented in what he does. As I mentioned the property enhancements. We also recognized, um, you know, guests are wanting to do a lot more and Anguilla itself offers many more activities and experiences. So both on the properties and on the island, we've brought in a new program and also a children's program as well for the younger members of um, the parties that come to stay at the villas. Uh, just to give you an idea where Anguilla is, where we're positioned, I mean, for those that don't know, we're very close to St. Bart, St. Martin and St. Kitts and, uh, and in close proximity to Antigua. The three villas are in two locations. Um, the beach house is on iconic Meads Bay. It's voted number one um, beach in the Caribbean year in, year out. It's a really fantastic stretch. And for those that know Anguilla, the beach house sits between Malihana and the Four Seasons. And then you cross the island on a good day. It's about a 12 minute drive across to Little Harbour. And the outlook here is across to the island of St. Martin and St. Bart's. And we have Le Bleu and Indigo. Um, again, it's they're right next door to each other. So a great combination product as well. Getting to Anguilla, um, much easier than it has been from all markets. Obviously, the Americas, you've got... Um, so in North America, you have American Airlines now with a regular schedule service out of Miami, direct to Anguilla. A um, number of other carriers all coming into St. Martin as well. From the UK, British Airways and Virgin Atlantic into Antigua. Um, and those services now are operated with scheduled flights with Anguilla Air Services, Trans Anguilla and Trade Win Aviation. So some really good options to coming in from Antigua. And then Air France and KLM and Condor. And then you've also got... Um, the Latin American market as well, which is really well serviced into St. Martin. So for direct, it's mainly it's American Airlines um, and then onward connections from other destinations with our inter-island carriers. The three villas, as I said, are very different. You've got the beach house on Meads Bay, Le Bleu and Indigo, as I said, sitting side by side. And as you can see, architecturally, very, very different in look, but all offering the same incredible service and incredible facilities as well. Um, the beach house, and I'm going to go through them individually, just talk a little bit about them. Uh, we can cater up to 16 guests. There's eight masters and 10 bathrooms. The um, All the three villas also have areas for staff. So if you've got clients that are traveling with um, a nanny or um, secretary pairs, whatever, they can actually have a separate area for each of these on each of the three properties. They all have service little sort of separate apartments. Um, I mentioned the guest experience manager who will cater to all the client's needs, either pre-arrival. And one thing that we've introduced as well is when your guests are coming to stay, Chef really likes to speak to them pre-arrival to understand what they like for their 
um, menus and he will talk and get a real understanding. Even if he only preps it for the first sort of two or three days, it really just gives him more of an insight into the guests. So they're not arriving and not really understanding, you know, what we actually offer. So it's a really nice touch. And our guests that have been in over festive have thoroughly um, embraced the whole experience. We've had some amazing feedback. Um, Indoor and outdoor dining. We have a mate, one swimming pool at um, the beach house. We have tennis court and we also have pickleball, which we've just introduced, um, which I'm sure the American Canadian market knows it's the fastest growing sport in the US, but also taking off in the UK market as well. We have a full ground floor under or basement, if you want to call it that, which is absolutely huge, which has all gaming um, facilities as well as a 16 seat cinema. So it's quite unique in Anguilla to have that with over 8,000 options of viewing. Um, as I said, it's a very large villa. We've got the two master suites at the top. These have both just been refurbished and so we're waiting on the new images at the end of the month. But it's a beautiful property. It's very um, airy, it's very light. Everything opens up downstairs. And if you can see the suite down here on the um, right hand side, I'll talk a little bit more about that, but great for guests that maybe have slight disabilities or just don't want to be and um, have any stairs to access, they can come straight in and out to the swimming pool area. We talk about Meads Bay, it really is quite stunning. And with those that know Anguilla or haven't been, just to say that even when Anguilla is busy, the beaches are not crowded. You will not get thousands of beach chairs and people everywhere. This was taken when we are there in June, 6 a.m. in the morning, absolutely stunning. Um, I think two people ran past us and that was about it, one with a dog. So, you know, it's never gonna be mass tourism, which is absolutely wonderful. To give you an outlay, an outline of how the beach house is situated, um, we put these in and they're in all our um, packs as well. Um, as you can see, this is number eight here. We have one acre next door to the villa and number three is also an industrial kitchen or commercial kitchen. So fantastic for events or parties, celebrations, weddings. Um, we can do all the catering for guests. We tend to do this prepping anyway for visitors so that the main kitchen is not being... Um, just, you know, causing any disruption or noise. So everything can be done there. So the acreage, we've got the tennis, I mentioned the separate apartment number two, which is great for get for um, people traveling with staff. And there's also a walkway here into three, which is two suites there as well. So again, if you've got um, a nanny or somebody or children, you want them close by, it's a perfect area to be. As I said, they are quite vast, the properties, but they also, you know, Price point, yes, they can be expensive, but when you equate it to staying at a, at a resort with 10 or 12 suites, you know, it is a really great way to um, to experience Anguilla as a destination, just having your own private space and privacy. We get a lot of um, noted individuals that come and stay at the villas and, you know, they absolutely love it because they do have the privacy. No one tends to bother them in Anguilla. So, you know, they can get on and really enjoy themselves and you can just come straight out of your little picket fence here and gate and onto the beach. Absolutely stunning. As I said, we've made a number of enhancements already to the properties and upgrades. The main sitting room, as I said, you can open it all up straight out onto the, um, the swimming pool, the mezzanine seating area, the master suite. There is two upstairs um, with incredible views. All our bathrooms have an outdoor component to them as well. And I mentioned the suite that's really great for um, older guests or people that don't really want to use stairs or have slight disabilities. They can come straight through. They've got their own bathroom, dressing room. All our um, suites also have private dressing rooms. The games room downstairs, we've done more enhancements here, a number of changes, but, um, you know, it's a fantastic space. We even had one guest that we converted into a full casino for him, um, and that was quite a wild time on the at the villa, but a really great use of space. Again, for corporate meetings, if you've got get clients that are looking for somewhere to go for privacy, we can convert this or change and upgrade add in areas to um, make it private boardroom space as well. It's got full Wi-Fi across all the villas as well. Um, and as I mentioned, the 16 seat cinema with a private bar at the back as well. Main entrance and sunset from the main suite. And this was taken in June. It was absolutely beautiful, beautiful skies. And then we head across the island. It's about 12 minutes from, or say 15 minutes from across on Meads Bay to Little Harbour. And we have Le Bleu Villa. This is a very big villa as well. It's 22 guests over 11 suites with 11 bathrooms. The same service, the same um, guest experiences. 
Um, but what we do have are two separate living spaces in, in on the property, and I'll show you that on the map as well. Two swimming pools, again, private tennis court, pickleball, beautiful water gardens. Um, just to give you an indication, these are the two properties. That's Indigo here, which I'll talk about at the end, and as I said, Le Bleu. So they're side by side. There's two small gates tucked into these beautiful gardens that run down through here that can actually open them up to be um, sold as as one property for guests that are doing sell. We've had a couple of weddings actually where they've taken both properties and been absolutely beautiful. Um, with Le Bleu, as I said, it's a two, two space um, villa. At the main entrance, we have what we call Little Le Bleu. It has two suites. It has a fantastic family space up there as well. Again, a second commercial kitchen. So again, we can cater for all the needs of our guests without interrupting them in the main kitchen. You have the tennis court, and we've converted this into a dance area and bar for parties as well. You have the water garden and into the main house here with um, the two suites at the top. And it's, it's basically an upside down house um, with all the suites underneath as well. So as you can see, two master suites, the main living area that again, like the beach house, it all opens up. You have a dining room as well, um, a dining room outside, and then suites underneath and a small cinema as well with eight seats. This area here at the front, we call it the dining, um, the dining key this, and I can show you some pictures at the end, but it's a great spot to sit in the sun. And we'll have our own little private beach cove down here and a jacuzzi on the waterfront as well. Again, the outlook, well, I mentioned St. Martin. We Anguilla is literally 15 minutes away by boat, 20 minutes from the, from the Dutch side or about a seven minute plane ride so you know on a, it's a beautiful outlook there at night sitting out the sparkling lights in St Martin it really is quite peaceful and I mentioned it's Little Bay and this area here is called Cinnamon Reef again very private very quiet it's mainly residential and a few other private villas um, but totally totally private the water gardens um, leading up to the back of Petit uh, to Le Bleu and again this just gives you an indication of how the, um, the villa is set out, and then the opposite side to Indigo. All these suites have been upgraded as well as they're waiting on the new images. And as soon as we get them, we'll, we'll be loading them onto our website as well. Um, again, the two suites, the commercial kitchen, oh, sorry, the living space, and then the second bedroom. To the left, a huge swimming pool. We've got gardens here with barbecue facilities. So we cater to what anybody wants. And then we head to Indigo next door. Um, Indigo is... Again, um, in two sections, we have the main entrance, which it caters to 20 guests. Again, I won't go through all the details because it is exactly the same as what we offer across the other two properties, but it has 10 master suites and 11 bedrooms and two swimming pools as well. It's a beautiful property. Um, it's one of the first, the second property the bark has actually built, but the gardens here are absolutely fantastic. They're very tranquil, very um very beautiful actually and there's lots of little areas tucked away that you can see and and just sort of get your own privacy and, and away from everybody if that's what you want but you also have a beach area here and what we call the swimming deck as well so straight out onto the water from there um, I mentioned the property is in two parts you've got the main entrance which has the apartment at the top which has three bedrooms you can come through into the main house as well and then just gives you more of an indication what the pool here across to the right and we call this little indigo it has two masters of a master suite what i would classify as a master suite and a second suite behind small small swimming pool and all this interconnects with the seating area outside and um and into the gardens this area with the white top here is also a pavilion we use for massage again with all the villas we offer um yoga, pilates, private trainers, whatever anybody wants. Each of the properties has its, its own gym as well. So um, with all the state-of-the-art equipment. It really is a lovely spot here too. And one thing that we've introduced with Indigo too, and not obviously not during festive, but any rest of the year, we're actually offering this as a bed and breakfast option. So if you've got guests that want to do their own thing, they don't want the full um, chef experience, they can just have chef for breakfast. They can order it, you know, if they wish to have a meal um, or a lunch or something prepared by chef, we can bring that in as an, as an add-on. But we are offering a, a bed and breakfast rate too, which is doing very, very well. So if that's something you think clients would be more interested in, please get in touch and we can give you some details about that too. As I said, the gardens are beautiful, very established. Tennis courts, each property has its own private court. Um, and again, pickleball, this is the main sitting area and we've upgraded this as well. So new images are coming for these too. 
And again, that beautiful outlook from the master suite at Little Indigo, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, guest experience, um, you know, as I said, well, I've talked about the spa and wellness. Um, we can do restaurant reservations. We can offer all the activities across the island or we can bring um, experiences in, into the property. We tend to do great little um, activities with the children as well. One thing I didn't mention with um, the beach house, we also have introduced a cinema menu. So for adults or for children, they can have whatever they like. We're doing sort of popcorn sliders all sorts of, um, you know, little tiny things that they can enjoy rather if they just want to sort of chill out and have a movie afternoon. It, it's a really nice little touch as well. Childcare and family activities, celebration special events, I've touched on those as well with the weddings. Um, you know, we also have, um, we can cater to Jewish community. We can actually do a kosher kitchen, kosher menus. We have the rabbi come in from St. Martin, which is really helpful. Um, and so anything like that, if you've got any questions on anything, please just get in touch. We can turn a hand to whatever your clients require. Again, private boats, charter or aircraft is also available. On the island, I mentioned there's so many more activities in Anguilla now. You've got kayaking, we've got night kayaking and day tours. Scuba diving is really growing in popularity. There's four dive centers on the island, all Bezac and um, Paddy. Sailing, deep sea fishing, um, paddle boarding. I won't go through them all. One thing I will touch on though is the golf. We have Aurora with their fabulous 18 hole PGA standard golf course. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and they also have a nine hole as well. So we can organize tee off um, times for guests and again the facilities there are exceptional they really really are very very good so if you've got golfing clients it's a really really nice option now for Anguilla I've talked about the personal dining I'm not going to go through this individually but each villa offers the same except for Indigo where I've mentioned we're doing the band and breakfast offer um, the food is exquisite we're really thrilled to have chef with us he's He's quite talented, extremely talented, and really brings a new, a new sort of offering to our guests. And then the wedding market is very popular for us too. So again, you've got the option of um, combining Indigo and Le Bleu, um, the massive facilities there with the dining deck, or you've got the one acreage I mentioned at the beach house again, which we have can marquee. The other thing that we do as well is we have all our own marquees, all our own um, you know, equipment and everything like that. Um, and we do work, work with facilities such as Black Orchid, which are amazing and do the most stunning um, parties and events. So um, anything again, your clients want, we can do. And again, I've talked about the acreage, how it's positioned. I mean, and this is Meads Bay. It really is quite stunning. And the other beauty of Meads Bay too, there's lots of little facilities along the beachfront there with little bars and restaurants and things like that for guests to wander out. And marquee the dining platform at Le Bleu. And that's it. Our exquisite villas, exceptional service, extraordinary locations. Three lovely villas. Did I do it in time? You did, and Carolyn, I think you've made everybody hungry and you've made everybody want to dive into that beautiful beach. So thank you for those. Uh, brilliant Pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for listening and happy to answer any questions. And I'll put my contact details up at the end as well. Brilliant. Any questions you've got for Carolyn, please pop them in the Q&A and put for the attention of Carolyn. So thank you very much, Carolyn. Thank um, you. We're now going to leave sunny Anguilla and we're moving over to sunny Jamaica. Tracy. Okay. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Okay. Yep, all good. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, um, Carolyn. That's uh, going to be a hard act to follow. So um, nice and uh, very upmarket, but uh, hopefully we'll keep you all on track with the luxury here. So as you all know, I'm Tracy and I head up the team at Central Detail. We're very fortunate that we, can, we actually represent um, 10 hotels across six gorgeous Caribbean islands that you can just see here. Our newest addition, just in case some of you are unaware, is actually Mount Cinnamon in Grenada, uh, which we took on earlier um, at the end of last year. So all of our properties in the essential detail portfolio do have a common ethos. 
And that ethos it runs literally throughout all of these properties. So they're all boutique, they're all charming and friendly properties. They have local characters and unique histories. And those histories are great to share on your Instagram stories. And if you want to put you know, stories up on your website, they're in what I call destination sort of charisma areas. They're in the local areas and they have experiences, local experiences, real Caribbean traditional experiences on their doorstep. The majority of our properties are owner managed, which means the owner is on site and obviously is very caring and the properties are very much loved, as are the staff that they employ. And many of the staff have been with our hotels for many, many years throughout. And a central detail have actually represented some of the hotels in the portfolio for over 20 years now. And with all that recommendation of staff and managers on board, a lot of our guests do become friends and they we do deliver a very much high or you deliver very much a high delivery of repeat visitation. We have guests that stay at um, East Winds that come back year after year, sometimes two or three times a year, and they will stay. Um, they've been doing that for like 10 years along. We can deliver individual guest requirements. So if somebody wants some white roses in their suite on arrival, easily to, easy to be arranged. If they want Santa to rock up on a jet ski, again, we can easily arrange that. So any individual requests you have, whether you're booking through an operator, send those requests to the essential detail team. We will get them delivered by the hotel on the guest's arrival. We have um, really good reviews on TripAdvisor and all the review sites. So again, you can sell the hotels with confidence. We do focus very much on added value um, and quality. So you won't see us really with 50% discounts. We're gonna focus on giving you added value and delivering when your clients are there to ensure that they come back and they do really do have a luxury, great experience. That's also good for you because most of you will work on commission. So the higher the price of the holiday, the more commission you earn, which is obviously very important. If you have guests staying a bit longer than the average seven or 14 nights for UK market, or maybe you know for the US area, it's a bit more than five nights and you need a special rate, just let us know and we will look to give you an extended stay rate. We also offer buyout rates. Our largest property is actually only 52 suites, so we can do a buyout of a property quite easily. And we have rate, rate rollovers right through from, we're actually issuing 2025 contracts now, so that means you can actually quote for 2026 if you need to, and the rate is guaranteed. All our hotels are very sustainably aware, and many of them have what we call giving back programs. So they give back to the local community. So from the UK itself, um, we are just nine hours um, from the UK over to Jamaica, and you can fly from either Gatwick or Heathrow on Virgin British Airways or Norse into Montego Bay or into Kingston. And if you're traveling from the US, Canada or Europe, again, there's lots of international airlift, whether it's American Airlines, Delta, et cetera. Um, so again, coming into either Montego Bay or Kingston Airport. Once your guests arrive, if they are coming on a luxury holiday, they may actually require meet and greet services. So whether they're flying into one of the international airports or they're coming in by private jet into Ian Fleming's International Airport, we can arrange for VIP meeting, VIP lounge um, access on arrival and departure, and also um, upgraded transfers to our hotels in Jamaica. So just to give you a bit about the infrastructure around restaurants of Jamaica itself, um, there's some several, there's lots of renowned restaurants, but just to touch on a few that you may have heard of before, you've got the Caves restaurant in the grill, um, where clients here will experience what we call real wholesome home cooking. And that's everything from jerk chicken right through to five course romantic dinners, actually set in a private cave that you can see down here in the bottom of the picture. Then you've got the Sugar Mill, um, the Sugar Mill restaurant over in Montego Bay. This has a lot of history behind it. It dates back to 1676. And that's not going to be one of my questions, so um, that's fine. Don't worry about noting that. And then the one that I really like is um, a fairly newer project called Stush in the Bush. It's actually set up in the hills of St Anne's, and it really is an intimate farm to table experience. And it's what you call here, where we slow down we breathe and we eat good food. 
So moving on to a few experiences that you can do whilst in Jamaica. So clients can really venture out and about the island. Um, they may decide to hire a private boat. We can arrange for the family or group of friends to do a marling fishing competition. Um, perhaps they might just want to hit the green and drink pims on the golf course or have a picnic and do um, watch a polo match. So any of these we can actually set up for you from the hotel side of things. These are perhaps not the so traditional activities that people may do in Jamaica. Some of you may or may not know that uh, water, white, uh, not white water rafting, sorry, um, stand up paddle boarding or um, basically came from Jamaica. And the picture down on the right hand side here is a couple just really chilling out for the day on a raft um, with someone actually taking them and rowing them along and just chilling out and really enjoying the vibes of Jamaica. And of course we have Bond, James Bond, and uh, very famous for Jamaica. A lot of the novels were written here. And this really now brings me on to the hotel that I'm going to present to you today. And the reason I put Bond in here was because the first time a shaken, not stirred martini was actually served at Teddy's Bar at Jamaica Inn. So that leads me on to this lovely property, very iconic property in Jamaica, Jamaica Inn. So Jamaica Inn is set um, on the north coast, so we're up here um, at the top, and it's literally just an hour and a half from either Montego Bay or Kingston Airport. So it is really accessible from wherever you're coming from in the world, or of course you can come in from the uh, private airport as well. So this is an intimate, elegant hideaway. It's very iconic. It has a list and history of famous guests. It's the largest hotel in our portfolio with just 52 accommodations. It has a variety of dining options, so you're not stuck into all-inclusive um, or bed and breakfast. You have a variety of choices. It's renowned for its really large oversized verandas, which are quite often used for private dining. It has an amazing stunning beach and an award-winning ocean spa restaurant. And what our guests really do love is what we give back with. And one of our projects is the Hawksbill Turtle Hatching Project, as well as the um, White River Fish Sanctuary, where we actually plant, replant corals and things in the area to help the local fishermen. So this really is one of the best loved hotels, not just in Jamaica, but in the Caribbean. So I mentioned this bit of history. Um, Winston Churchill used to go here and paint his watercolors. Marilyn Monroe was actually had her engagement here, and dare I say, Meghan Markle had her first wedding here. Moving on swiftly, um, Jamaica Inn is set in a horseshoe bay, and you can see it here on the map on the right-hand picture. The main rooms, uh, the leading rooms and accommodations and suites are in this area here, and then you have the cottages down on this part of the horseshoe, and then you have some of the bungalows up on the higher end here with the more uh, sort of public areas, the bars and restaurants are in this area here. So everything is very, very accessible. As I said, it's actually set on a stunning beach. And in fact, I know Torrance from Jamaica Tourist Board will quite often say this is the best beach in Jamaica. It's 700 foot of champagne colored sand. It really is lovely. And the accommodations we have here, 52 rooms, suites and private cottages. All of the suites and cottages, all the rooms are absolutely superb and stunning and they all have an ocean view. None of them have televisions. We really do like you to get away from the racing of the world that we're in, but you do have Wi-Fi if you do need to keep up with your loved ones and catch up on any news that's going on. As I said, they have these renowned um, super-sized verandas where you can actually eat or just chill and relax. So you can have breakfast, lunch or dinner on the verandas and they will be served to you. This is our blue cottage. It's actually just a one bedroom cottage. Um, so it's for two people. It has its own private pool and it has its own very small private beach as well. Then the one and two bedroom cottages that were set down at the bottom of the map that I showed you on the horseshoe, all of these have private plunge pools and they all have direct access into the sea. So it's not beach access, it is just stair access into the sea. Remember, we've got that lovely beach just around the corner. On a dining point of view, um, all our rates now include continental breakfast, and you can upgrade to full breakfast, half board, or all inclusive. 
And with the all-inclusive, I'd just like to mention, we do have a dine around. So if you spend seven nights, you can actually dine out for two or three nights during that time to other restaurants locally and really experience local Jamaica. And in fact, we really do encourage um, our guests to do that. So when you have um, head down to dinner, we do, there is a dress code in the evening. So we do expect men to wear collared shirts and long trousers. And you'll quite often be met on this upper terrace by the actual owner of the um, of the Morrow family, uh, the, the head man now, Eric. And he'll quite often be sitting here in the evening to greet you into dinner for your pre-dinner drink. Once you've had pre-dinner drinks, you'll head down to the, up, the lower terrace and dinner is served al fresco style. And we do do a really fabulous New Year's dinner on this actual terrace. And the views and the sunsets in the background, as you can see, are really, really stunning. Sometimes clients don't want to dress up every night. And if they haven't popped out on the all-inclusive dine around, then we do four nights a week offer um, casual dining where guys can wear shorts and t-shirts down at Teddy's, Teddy's Beach Bar. So this is a more casual dining option in the evening. And of course, I mentioned the private dining. So that is on your own veranda. It is set up as if it is your own private restaurant or down on the beach. And each course will be served as it's cooked. It's not like room service where everything comes in on a tray. You'll have your own dedicated waiter that will serve you throughout the evening. Now, what a lot of people miss with Jamaica Inn is that the actual bed and breakfast rate includes a lot more just than your bed and breakfast. So we include a lot of activities. And these are actually from, um, you can go and do the rumology and learn about the rum. You can go to the market with the chef and then come back and do some cooking and make your own lunch um, and eat it. Hopefully it's edible. It certainly is when he cooks it. You can do a tour of the gardens and do uh, learn about all the spice and the fruit and how they can help you in this day and age when I think lots of us need lots of cures for different things that we've had over the years. And we have up at the spa, the farm to skin foraging, again, learning about what we can use in the gardens and using the fruits and coconuts, etc., to actually improve our wellness in ourselves. So the spa itself is an award winning spa. It's absolutely stunning, a really lovely place to relax. Spa treatments can be pre-booked before you travel or obviously you can book them when you're there, but really, really lovely. Another one is the croquet and rosé is included. So you get a glass of rosé, play some croquet. What I would do is keep your wallets in your pocket. Certainly don't bet with these guys. They're absolute pros and you've got absolutely no hope of winning. So be warned. <laughs> And one of my favorites is Bond on the Beach. So every Thursday evening, we set up some ch um, chairs down on the beach, put a big screen up, serve you martinis and popcorns, and you watch whatever the um, Bond film is for that week. So they rotate every week for different Bond films, but something really sort of quite iconic for Jamaica. For those that you um, that book weddings and um, feature with honeymoons and romance, um, ro you know, it really is a timeless Jamaica Inn, it's really a timeless hotel and romance is, is definitely number one on our list. So having been in the same family for over 65 years, we have hosted a lot of weddings, whether they're very small, mm -hmm. um, just two people, very intricate, mm -hmm. or whether they're a little bit bigger, um, and one of our most popular areas is our West Wing Terrace just below our restaurant with that lovely view looking out over the ocean, elevated view. We can take up to 70 guests on this terrace or you can go down onto the beach and have a set up or perhaps just have your beach set up in the evening um, for a party. And again, whether it's just 10 people or 100 people, Jamaica Inn can accommodate whichever, you know, whatever your guests require. But I will warn you, when you do get married at Jamaica Inn, um, very occasionally you may have some unexpected guests turn up. It normally happens between June and November. Fortunately, they're not guests that you have to feed. Um, the beach at Jamaica Inn, through those months of June to November, we actually lie open to having turtles nesting and we have over 3,000 baby turtles nest on our beach every, not nest, sorry, um, hatch on our beach every single year. Really a sight to see. And if you know anything about turtles, we can normally predict pretty much the day that they are actually going to hatch. So you will get to see the turtles. 
So moving on, I can't leave Jamaica in about without talking about the lovely team there. As I've said to you, we're actually now in the fourth um, generation of the Morrow family. And we're very fortunate to have Ollie, um, the daughter of um, Eric, in the UK quite often. And um, some of you will have met her already. She's very hands on, very into bringing Jamaica keeping it traditional, but bringing it very up to date. And we are starting to see a much younger generation um, of clients coming in to Jamaica Inn. And a lot of the thanks to that is to these wonderful staff. And some of them have been here for 40 years. So um, they really do stay with us and they really are wonderful. We do have a new addition and our newest addition is uh, Shadow and um, she's learning very well to fit in. She's a little bit bigger than this now. We're waiting for some updated pictures on her growth, um, but she's a lovely addition to the hotel. So we really look forward to welcoming you to our home, as we call it. But just before I go, I just wanted to mention, um, we do work with lots of operators in the UK. Here's just a few of them here. Um, to give you an, an idea of price point through peaks, if someone was traveling in May, uh, bed and breakfast, you're looking at about £1,900 per person. And if you go up to all inclusive, you're looking at about £3,300 for all inclusive. Look out for offers with companies like Luso. They're offering a complimentary spa treatment as well as the traditional 30% off that we have at the moment. If only are offering an upgrade from um, continental breakfast to full breakfast and Hummingbird are offering an F&B credit. So do shop around. If you're not sure and you're looking for something in particular, please don't hesitate to ask um, the Essential Detail team. And our resources are all on our website. So our property manuals, property maps, and videos. If you can't, and our fact sheets are also on our website now as well. If you can't find what you're looking for, just drop us an email and we'll send it through to you. No problem at all. Do look out for the team out and about on the road. And I will say that we're having our hoteliers are all over in June. It's going to be the week of the 17th of June. We're going to be up in Scotland, um, most probably around the Leeds area and also around the Birmingham Solihull area that week. So do look out for us. If you are interested in coming to meet our hoteliers and coming to one of our luxury showcases, drop me an email at the end of this and we'll add you to the listing. Um, you need to get in quickly. It's quite an exclusive event that we host and uh, they're normally very much high in demand. So you're very lucky today that you're first on the list to know about this because we've not announced it yet. Um, and hopefully sometime in the future, we will get to the US and out to Europe and come and entertain some of you guys out there as well. So thank you for all your support through 2023. Um, I'm sure we'll continue to see all your support through 2024. And thank you very much for listening. And if you want anything else, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks very much. Thank you, Tracy. Question for you. Are you bringing Shadow on your, um, on your calls? Pardon? Are you bringing Shadow on your calls? Um, I'd like to. I, I can bring Roxy and Riley, but that might be a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two boxes here, but there you go. <laughs> oh, loving it, loving yeah, it. So we'll bring the shadow, we, we, without a doubt, we'll, uh, we'll be completely ram solid. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, yeah, you've had a lot of love hearts as well. Um, so, we, if, you, if anybody has got any questions for Tracy, um, please pop them into the Q&A. Um, Celine has just said, I love this webinar. So, thank you, Celine. Um, Jenny's asked Tracy what happened to the previous Shadow who was a puppy when I was last there um, Shadow sort of retired and went to doggy heaven unfortunately oh. um, that's why they, every year they get a, well not every year sorry every generation of Shadows it just becomes a new generation of another Shadow so it's always a black lab it's always Shadow um, but the previous Shadow had a lovely life and um, unfortunately uh, they lost her early last year actually so hence the new Shadow but she had a lovely life and she's now up in doggy he's so it's a he he's up in uh, doggy heaven having a dog a doggy time up there <laughs> good excellent Celine's also said bravo for the kosher catering offer so that, I presume that that was yourself as well Tracy yeah um, I know that Carolyn and Arena have been busy behind the scenes answering all of their questions. Um, so we had quite a few different questions that came through. If anybody else does have any further questions, don't worry. I will send a follow up tomorrow. Um, everybody will be copied in. So if you've got anything else you need from them, please do not hesitate to reach out to them. 
So we get to the point of the day now where we see who's been listening. So if everybody can go to chat, make sure your drop down says everyone. And I'm going to ask Arena first to ask her question. So my question is, uh, how many bedrooms we have in our villa? How many bedrooms in the villa? <laughs> There we go. So let me go scroll up here. So Holly, Neil and Janice and Nicole were a bit too fast on the fingers. So Sharice has said 10. Is that correct? Um, well, the correct answer is four uh, with the possibility to extend up to uh, 10. So I would accept the answer four because that's what we have in the villa. OK, so that was Holly. And swiftly followed by Neil with two. Neil. <laughs> so Holly, you were the correct answer with four, but you can ultimately make it 10 as well. So thank you very much, Arena. Um, Carolyn. Right. Where will you find the villas Indigo and Le Bleu? What area of Anguilla? Yay. So, I'm presuming it's Little Harbour. It is. Natalie. I'm writing your name down. And last but not least, Tracy. Okay. Um... Racking my brains here for a quick question. So, what is the name of the beach restaurant? Keep going, guys. It's kind of you're kind of getting there, but it's not the full name. I haven't seen it right yet. Getting there. One more word to go on the last one. <laughs> there you go. I think we've got one. <laughs> yeah, the correct answer is Teddy's Beach. Sorry, Teddy's Bar and Grill. We've got Beach Bar and Grill. I think that will do. I think it looks like it could be Carol. <laughs> Carol. But you, you tell me. You're the. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. It depends how it, how you, you want to do it. I mean, we can just say Teddy. Teddy. I'm quite happy. You're the judge. You're the judge. So I leave it with you. It's Teddy. It's Teddy's bar and grill. There's no beach in it. It was Teddy's. Was Carol anyway? She was the fastest, and then she's amended hers to beach bar and grill. Um, and there was no bar and grill. Um, Sarah, you added that afterwards. Um, so yeah, let's go with Carol. So you've got, oh, you've all got your 10 points. So Holly, Natalie and Carol have got your 10 points. I will let you know who the winners are when I do the follow-up and the recording tomorrow. So we've learned a lot today. We've got such different properties in different areas and it's been amazing. Tracy, Carolyn and Irina, you're fantastic. Thank you very much. They're completely trade friendly, want to work with you. So if you have any bookings, please send them their way. Any further questions, drop them a little email or pick up the phone. Um, Ladies, sorry, I'm losing my voice. Thank you very, very much. Do you have anything else to say other than bye-bye or? No, thank you all for listening. And thanks again, Sarah, for all your efforts putting them together. Webinars, they're great. Thank you. No problem. We'll take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll see you all next week. Thank you, ladies. Much appreciated. Bye-bye. <laughs> thanks, bye. Bye, everybody.